fact, uh, the governor began by kind of ticking off a list of all the roadblocks and the bottlenecks so far. And it is important to point out Maryland is not the only state that is having a slow vaccine rollout. Uh, he did mention some counties like Baltimore City are going a little slower than others. He said other counties like Howard have nearly vaccinated their entire phase 1A populations. But he did say it's a combination of uh, they, they need manpower, they need sites, they need training, and the federal government is basically sending vaccine when they have it. The state doesn't know when they're going to get it, doesn't know how much. And therefore, that's why this, the local counties in Baltimore City find out at the last minute they're getting a bunch of doses. So he went through all that. Then he went through all of his fixes on how he's going to make it better. He's sending the National Guard out starting tomorrow to locals to help them ramp up their vaccine clinics like the one we saw in Howard County yesterday on 11 News. He has is also over the weekend there's a new emergency health order from the state of Maryland. There are penalties for any entity that does not use at least 75% of the vaccine doses that they got. He says he doesn't just want it sitting around in a freezer. He wants the shots to go into the arms. He also said he's keeping an eye on what's the deal with CVS and Walgreens, noticing that they have not been allocating doses to nursing homes as they are in at the rate in which they are federally contracted to do so. He said he personally spoke with the CEOs of both of the companies and he expects that to turn around. But this is the big news for everybody else out there listening. This is not unexpected, but it came today. They have edited the vulnerable populations and the populations within these phases that sh that will get the vaccine first. Phase 1B, the new timeline will be sometime in late January and now educators are among the vulnerable groups that are included in the phase 1B population as well as adults 75 years of age and older who have certain health risks. They didn't go into detail. We are waiting to look at the documentation a little bit later and unpack that more. There are changes to phase 1C, the phase 1C group, which he anticipates if we keep going at this pace, we could begin sometime in March. That's phase 1C. This now includes adults ages 65 to 74 years old and some additional health and safety workers. Then there will be vaccine distribution changes for phase two. He did not give a timeline on when this might begin, but he did say this group now includes adults between the ages of 16 and 64 who are at increased risk. Again, no specifics given on what those increased risks are. And he said phase two will now include additional essential workers. He also said, Everything is going to keep changing, so expect ch more changes to come. And then he had this to say about the process. Look, I'm not going to be happy until we're done and I'm going to keep pushing and driving, you know, 24 seven and I'm not going to leave any stone unturned until we can get it done. That's just the way I am. So I'm never going to be satisfied. Again. The National Guard will be hitting the ground tomorrow in Maryland's local jurisdictions to help them scale up vaccine clinics. They need staffing, they need site, sites, locations. And one of the big things is once we start having more and more of the second doses being put into arms, the size of the vaccine clinics needs to double. That's what we're facing here. It will double in size in just about a month from now. So we have a lot to unpack. We're going to look at all the, the information, the documentation uh, that was just shared with us, and we will have more on this for you coming up tonight on 11 News at 10 and 11 o'clock. Reporting live from the State House tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.